Hello. There's a class coming in here in about 10 minutes, so I'll make this quick. Here we have the infamous balance, beaker, water, ping pong ball, steel ball experiment. It's been going around uh, Facebook and it's a very hot topic. So I decided I'll put an end to it by destroying the imagination and going straight to the experiment. Here, the problem states, if I tie a ping pong ball down to the bottom of the beaker such that it stays submerged, and if I submerge a steel ball on the right side, such that it's being held up by the string and it's not touching the bottom of the beaker, yet it's still submerged in the water, which side will go down? Will it uh, tilt right down or left down? Well, first of all, I think the whole idea of ping pong balls being tied down to the bottom and stayed and submerged is made to trick the common person. Now you think since it's being held down and staying submerged that there's going to be a buoyant force that's going to push the ping pong ball up, thus push the entire left side of the system up. That couldn't be more wrong. And the reason why is because, well, it's tied down to the system, yet it's also part of the system. The ping pong ball is part of the system. The string is part of the system. What it's tied down to is part of the system. So for the most part, tying a ping pong ball down at the bottom of the beaker has nothing to do with how it's going to balance out. Much like how if you play tug of war with your friend in a train, it's not going to move the train. So I'm just going to basically rest this on top of the beaker because I'm pretty sure we understand now that whether it's tied down and has buoyant force pushing up on the ping pong ball, it's also, ping pong ball is also pushing down on the water and so they cancel out based on Newton's third law. Now, obviously the balance scale is pointing a little bit to the left, and I want to make sure that's the correct say statement. Um, however, now it's time for the um, steel ball. Now, many people on Facebook are saying that the thing will tilt left because of the ping pong ball. Well, let me show you how that's not correct. I'm outside the system, the string is outside the system, and the steel ball is just going to get submerged into the water. So. As you can see, the steel ball is not really touching the bottom of the beaker, yet it's only being submerged in the water. And thus, the right side is going to go down, as you can see right there. If I take the steel ball out, as expected, it's going to go back down to the left. 